Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from Sahili's Designs, which I will leave her link down in the description box. It's a black and white themed kit. That was the freebie. Here are your full boxes. I have got it upside down, but I kind of realize in a moment. These are all of your checklists. And then here you've got some half boxes and two extra full boxes. There we go. I knew I turned it around. And then this page here is your icons and your page flags, checklists, and like a functional page. And then you've got your headers, two weekend banner options, and four appointment labels. This is the first time I've ever used patterned headers and I quite like them. And then the last page is your washi and your date strips. There are two Friday date cover options there's one obviously sprout fry day and then the other one is sprout fry yay which i think is really cute and adorable and i kind of love it i've also pulled in two washi strips one is like a brushed bronze foiled one and the other one is more of a skinny washi that's kind of watercolor multicolored um so i thought i'd bring them in and of course i'm going to be using a stack of my poppets from my shop as well as some functional stickers from different shops that i'll let you know where i got them from Last week's new release was die cuts and I'm very excited to start creating die cuts. So these are really thick cardstock, they're 300 GSM so they are perfect for any planner. There are two oversized jumpers which has little sayings on and of course I had to do a family one because you guys know that these are my favourite poppets. And I also decided to do some kind of weather or season ones. So this one here has got the sunshine and the poppet is wearing a little flower crown so that would be good for either sunny or the summer and then this one is the wind one so it's got leaves and he's got little scarf ones so that's perfect for autumn and this one is my favorite one it's the little rain cloud one and I just love his little face and then the last one is the snow time one and obviously he's got his little mittens and scarf and he's got little snowmen in there so there are an option that you can buy a set of these so you don't have to buy, purchase them all singularly uh, but it's completely up to you and they are up in my shop So I'm going to start with the rolls of washi as I decided I wasn't going to use the washi that comes in with the kit as obviously everything in this kit is black and white and I wanted to add just a tiny bit of difference in there so I used this washi here which is one of my new rolls of washi and this is like the best washi in the world. I really love it. I think it's because it's more of a brushed metal look. I just really like it. Um, and then I put the skinny washi at the top there just to inject a little bit of colour. I also put some of the skish, skishy, skinny washi right down at the bottom of my page and that way it all looks kind of cohesive and it just adds a little bit more colour down in the bottom half of my planner. So moving on to the date covers, I wanted to try something a little bit different and I've never seen anyone else do this, there's probably a reason for that, but I decided to stagger the date covers so it went kind of up and down and up and down. I'm not sure if I like it 100% but it's always nice to change things up and try something new once in a while so that's my reasoning behind having these weird looking date covers. I don't know if I'm a fan. I can't make up my mind. Every time I open my planner, I'm like, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> but once I put those all down, we're going to go in day by day. So the first thing is I put down my to-do header. And as I went out on Friday with the girls, I didn't get a chance to film Friday. And Saturday, to be honest, was kind of a hangover, headache, haze of a day. So I didn't film Saturday. And then Sunday was Mother's Day and we actually went out for a meal. So I didn't get a chance to film Sunday either. So I'm filming, editing and uploading today. So I took a three checklist and just put the film, edit and upload script stickers from Planning Roses. We actually went to Framlingham and we went into the pub that Ed Sheeran loves and we went in there and we had a lovely meal for Mother's Day and it was really nice. Unfortunately, Mr Ed Sheeran himself was not in there, but you know, you can't have everything on Mother's Day. Underneath that, I wanted to put the Plan With Me Monday sticker and as there's no washi in this kit, I just took one of the long page flags to have it behind it and then I put down my full box. 
And then underneath there I put down my Today header with a half box because I want to do some shopping on Etsy. I definitely want to get my April monthly kit and just have a look around for some other kits. So I just wrote down Etsy shopping and then I put a little Etsy pop it down. I've also got some laundry to do, well actually I've just put the bed sheets in so they will just need drying now, but I've got laundry to do, like normal laundry, and then I want to change all the bed sheets and wash all of those. So like I said, I've done that while I was waiting for this to upload onto my editing software, so now I've just got to dry them, so I'm already ahead of myself. So moving on to Tuesday, I started with a Today header, and as always, I need to do my food shop. So I took a quarter box and a food shop poppet, and then just wrote down to do my food shop. Underneath there I put my, oh hello, no we zoomed in, we zoomed in a little bit and then I put down my this and that header and I was going to put my checklist down because I need to restock in my shop but I wanted to put one of these cutting machines from Planning Roses and behind there I just used some of the skinny washi as like a little background and plus it added a little bit of colour into this spread and then underneath there I put down my checklist which I will go and fill in when I figure out what needs restocking in my shop and then underneath there I put a half box down as my children have got some homework to do and although I'm not going to be putting it in every single day I'm actually tracking it in my sidebar I just wanted to remind myself that they need to just catch up on anything that was missed from the week before so I just wrote down homework catch up and I was going to use a puppet from the laptop sheet that's got like the little nerd glasses on and then I realized I would actually chop his feet off if I didn't put down the header first so I put down my this and that header and then layered the puppet on top so there's no little things in this kit but there are a few icons, there's actually one TV icon so I just use that to mark down that I want to watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians and Jessica Jones and I want to treat myself and have a little hour on Sims 4. Moving on to Wednesday, I started with my to-do header and I've got something very important to do on Wednesday. So I took a quarter box, well it's an appointment label, sorry, and a puppet that's watering the plants because when I went out with my family, there was like a little family quiz thing. It was just like a fun night and I actually ended up winning, I don't quite know how, but I did. And I won a basket of plants and everybody, I'm sure, gasped in their head because everyone knows that I can't keep plants alive so we have like a big um, family Facebook messenger chat and they all want me to post a picture every week that the plant is still alive Um it is currently still alive so I've done well I've managed to keep it alive for about three days so I do need to send them a picture that the plant is still alive underneath there I put down a half box because I want to design new poppets so that's what I wrote down and then I just took one of the poppets from the laptop sheet Underneath my full box I put another half box down with a nail icon sticker which is from my shop and just write down to paint my nails as I know I wouldn't get a chance to do it on Thursday. It's also been a really long time since I sat down and had a good YouTube binge on everyone's plan with me's and anything planner related basically on YouTube so I wanted to set aside some time while I'm sitting down doing my nails and I just use a page flag and a YouTube puppet to have a good YouTube binge so if you guys watch anyone that you really like or you think I might enjoy then leave them down in the comments on who's plan with me's you guys like watching I also went back to the Etsy shopping and used the credit card icon so for Thursday I started with a today header and then I was going to write down to design for the poppets and my brain sometimes goes a lot quicker than what my hand is going and I spelt design wrong so I went to go and get some white sticker paper just to erase it well actually before that I went to go and get my tipex but my daughter's been using it when she was revising and it has not been put back where it was so I got some sticker paper and that really wasn't working so in the end I just got the thin strip of washi and put it over the top which kind of covered it up and then I put another one at the bottom and just wrote design in the middle. Mistakes always happen, there's nothing you can do about it but there's always a way that you can either hide it or kind of redo it and nobody will ever know. 
well unless you film playing with me videos like me <laughs> and then I just put down a happy poppet because designing makes me happy underneath I put a half box because my daughter has her exam results I actually have to meet her up at the school and we kind of get them together so I just wrote down exam results and I have to meet her at the school at 2.30 I think it is I think let me just check Yes, it's 2.30 and I thought it was the perfect time to use one of my scared poppets so I just used this one with like the mouth wide open. Underneath that I just put down my full box and as it's going to be a busy day on Thursday I actually want to get dinner cooked early and that way I've just got to finish it off at night time like when we would normally eat because I know I'm not gonna have time to cook a full-on meal by the time we get home because there's also parents evening so I put an appointment lab important header sorry and then another half box and wrote down parents evening which is at five o'clock which is a really awkward time because obviously it's dinner time and parents evening is never a quick I'm just gonna pop in and talk to a few teachers you're there for what feels like days not that I'm really complaining because I love going and finding out how the children get on at school. It's just sometimes it just everyone's running late all the time and when your appointment's at five, really you go in about six. That's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Anyway, I also need to put the green beans out. So there was a bin icon in the kit and I just used that. And then moving on to Friday, I started with my to-do header. Friday kind of went a little bit downhill but it kind of gets a lot better at the end of it. So I put down my half box here and a little heart icon because it's my new release day. So I just write down a new release. I also want to film ready for next week. So I was deciding whether to do my boyfriend does my plan with me. I asked you guys on Instagram and 87% of you said you would. And as I was writing it, my cat jumped off onto my desk, which knocked over my pot of pens and my drink. So my writing went a bit funny and I thought, there's nothing I do about it because I wrote actually on the planner paper so I took up my full box which then ripped the page just to try and cover up the writing and as it wasn't covering quite all the way I moved up the film and the page flag and then my full box had no stickiness left so I put down a new full box and then I didn't like how everything was really cramped so in the end I picked up the half box with my new releases on moved the film text page flag again right at the top and then put down my new release date underneath my full box and then I just rewrote down my boyfriend does my plan with me so hopefully that will be next week's video if not then it will just be little old me again and then at the bottom there I put down my today header with um, some poppets from the home life sheet and also an icon from the kit and I just wrote down that I needed to mop the floors I need to do some laundry and I wanted to clean all of the windows Moving on to the weekend, I was just choosing which weekend banner I wanted to use and as I peeled it off I didn't realise there was kind of cut out bits at the top of the text. So just to cover that green line I just took some of the skinny washi and that way it was like a background and it kind of peeped through where the cutout was in the weekend banner. On Saturday we are back at the opticians, <laughs> I feel like we live at the opticians lately, um, but my daughter Ellie, she is going to have a contact lens trial, so that is booked in for Saturday, and then my youngest son Harrison, he has got an eye test booked in as well. So I just wrote down their appointments and their times, and then I put down the today header first before I put down the poppet that I usually use for opticians which is from the doctor sheet otherwise I would have chopped his little legs off again so after I put that down and we're going to be in the town I wanted to spend some time looking around the shops in the town um, and for that as I was going to use a half box that I flipped onto its side I wanted to have some background behind it and like there's no washi in this kit I just used the skinny washi again and put down two lines as a pretty background behind it I also used the shopping cart because there wasn't really any other icons that went with what I wanted to do so I just used the shopping cart one which kind of looks like I'm going food shopping but it's not we're just having like a little browse around all the shops in the town. I put my full box down and I've got a TV show on which is Jessica Jones. We are on season two. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it right now 
Uh, I'm still kind of waiting for it to get started, it's a little bit slow, but for this week anyway I'm watching Jessica Jones. And then for Sunday I put down my to-do header with my usual pop-it checklist which is getting everything ready for my children for school on Monday. And then I put down a half box because I'm going to be cooking a roast dinner, so I just put down to cook the dinner and I used one of the family pop-its. I then put down my full box and at the bottom I took one of the icons from the kit and write down that we were going to have a nice family walk and I also used one of the foil stickers from the Ginger Cat Co which says family time. I did also add an edit sticker on the Saturday so I can edit the plan with me I filmed on Friday ready for Monday. So moving on to the sidebar I wanted to put some gold washi behind my full box and I thought it would be easier just to do it on the sticker paper first. So I chose this one that says grateful and I've put the washi down onto the sticker paper, trimmed it down to size and then put the full box on top and then that way everything's all in line and nothing's jagging out at the edges which sometimes happens to me. I then took some of the skinny washi and put it over the notes section, not that it's going to cover up where it says notes but my habit tracker is going to cover that up anyway, it was just as a, a little background behind the habit tracker. Next up I wanted to create my homework section so I just wrote homework down on this long page flag and as it's kind of black on black I wanted it to stand out a little bit more so I just grabbed my white gel pen and went over it. I'm not too sure if it actually made it stand out but that's what I done. I then put that in my planner along with a checklist and that way I can keep track of homework and revision in my sidebar without having to put it in every single day. Now I'm just putting in my next week section as always and there was a header for that so I just put a checklist at the bottom and then there's a little gap left in between and I wanted to use this half box so I'm just using the exact same technique as I did with the full box at the top with the skinny washi and that way everything is neat and in line. Here's what I've got left after doing this spread, so there's still quite a lot and you probably could get another spread out of this, especially as I didn't use the washi, and you do get extra full boxes. So here's a very wobbly close up of this week's spread. I hope you guys do enjoy this black and white theme, if you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you leave all of your comments down below on who you love to watch on YouTube so I can go and check them out. As always I hope you have a really lovely week and I will see you on Monday. Bye guys!